Do you want to become a blogger but you're struggling with all the tech stuff that's involved? Then today my WordPress tutorial for beginners is for you. Maybe you're new to blogging and you've got no clue how to use your WordPress platform, publish your first blog post, design your website, or you're even struggling to log into your blog the very first time. If any of this sounds familiar, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to walk you through my blogging platform wordpress.org from beginning to end. Plus, if you haven't started your own WordPress blog yet, I give you my best tips on which software to use. And I run down the cost of starting a blog so you are in the clear and you don't waste any money on things you don't need to start your blogging journey right. Hi there, my name is Katie and I'm a full-time blogger and YouTuber. I teach passionate online entrepreneurs like you how you can use Pinterest and blogging to become successful online. Now, this will be an in-depth WordPress tutorial, so make sure you use the timestamps below to find specific topics. Or you can grab a cup of coffee and learn all the important stuff right away. And before we jump in, make sure you grab yourself access to my free blogging resource library. It contains over 30 plus blogging and Pinterest related downloads you can access immediately once you grab your password. Grab your checklist, guides, cheat sheets, and so much more so that there's nothing in the way of your blogging success. First, I wanted to share a little bit of my own blogging journey because you might be in the exact same place I was. I started my first blog 11 years ago and I was totally overwhelmed. I had no clue what I was doing, but eventually I found a blogging platform called WordPress.com and I started a free blog. I got really into blogging and invested all my free time into it. But at the same time, I got more and more frustrated with the blogging platform. I compared my blog to other blogs and just couldn't make mine look the way they all it. Yep, I basically stalked other bloggers and was like, why does my blog look so bad and how are they doing it? So I met a friend that studied IT and shared my problems and he explained that the free software I was using would never get me where I wanted to. I had a literal meltdown at Starbucks and started to sob. I'd spent six months working furiously on my new website to find out I could make it work. Long story short, I decided to cut my losses and move everything to wordpress.org, which my friend recommended. Now, please don't make the same mistake I did. Now, WordPress.org is a tool you use to create your blog website and blog posts. It's the home to all of your blog posts, your products, and it's where you'll spend most of the time actually creating the content. In complicated blogging terms, WordPress is your content management system. And to start your blog, you need three things. On top of your content management system, you also need a domain, and the host. Now, if you haven't started your blog yet, watch this video first. I teach you everything you need to know about how to start a self-hosted blog. It's a super simple tutorial, perfect for any beginner. Then come back here and see how to actually use it. I've also got a special link in the description where you can start your blog with Bluehost. Now, over 90% of all blogs worldwide run on WordPress.org. And it's also what I'm using for my website. It's in my opinion, the best blogging platform out there. And people also call it the real WordPress. So why the real WordPress? Um, what does that mean? Many people, including me, confused it with WordPress.com. WordPress.org and WordPress.com are not the same thing. And that's a big no-no I had to learn the hard way. As I mentioned in the beginning, I started my blog with WordPress.com. It's a platform where you can create a free blog, but it's not self-hosted. Meaning your blog on WordPress.com doesn't belong to you. You don't own it. It's a little bit like social media. Even though you can have an Instagram account that's yours, you don't own that space. And if Instagram ever decides to change something or block your account, well, what are you gonna do? With WordPress.org, you own your blog, so you can do whatever you want. So WordPress.org is the real WordPress everyone is talking about. You need to pay for your hosting, but it's super affordable. Now, WordPress.com is where you can start a free blog, but it's not self-hosted and you don't own your blog. On a free WordPress.com blog, you can't install and use plugins, use ads to make money from your blog, you can't open an online store next to your blog, you can customize your theme or upload a purchased theme and you can't create a membership site. And there's so much more you can't do. Now you can do all those things with wordpress.org and it's really super amazing. 
So how much does a blog cost for real? Like I mentioned in the beginning, you can start a blog with WordPress and get hosting with Bluehost starting at $2.95 a month. Yep, that's less than a latte at Starbucks. Let me give you a quick rundown of the numbers. Okay, so here are the costs of starting a blog. You will need to pay $2.95 a month for your Bluehost hosting. And with that deal, you will get a free domain with Bluehost as well for the first year. And then we also have our blogging platform, wordpress.org, which is free forever. Now other costs include, for example, a custom theme or an email marketing service. But trust me, you don't need that to start a blog right now. You can always upgrade to more services and stuff later. I genuinely think you deserve to get the blog of your dreams. So please make that investment in yourself. Again, go ahead and watch my full video on how to start a blog and grab your link to start a blog with Bluehost in the description below. Now, are you ready to get started? I know I am. So let's jump into the WordPress tutorial and don't don't worry, this is going to be super easy and step by step. You got this. All right. First of all, before we start blogging, let me make sure you can log into your blog after you've set it up. To log into your WordPress blog, go to the following address here on top. First, type in your URL and then add slash WordPress login. This will lead you to your logging page. Then enter your email and password you used to set up your site. Once you logged into your blog, this is how your blog looks behind the scenes. If you click here next to this little house sign, you can see how this blog looks at the front end. So what people would see when they type in your blog URL. Now this is my test site so I can show you in real time how to use WordPress. Let's go back to the dashboard here. On the left here you can see the menu. The most important sections are the post section here which includes all of your blog posts, your media library where you can manage your images, videos, PDFs and so on, your pages, I'll go into that in a second. Here at appearances you can change how your blog looks, so the theme of your blog. Here's where you'll add add plugins. We'll also go into the users here. So all the people that help you manage your site. And then finally, here are your settings. These are your most important sections. If you got these covered, you're a big step closer to creating your dream blog. So let's jump into some of these sections with more detail. Now the most important part of your blog is your blog content. So your blog posts. Let's head into posts here. You can create your post directly inside of WordPress or you can use a Google Google Doc to write your post and then copy and paste it into the new post. Do what works best for you. Here's how to create a blog post in WordPress. To start a new post, press the add new section here. Now here's where you can create your post. Simply click inside the white area here to add your title, like this. I've prepared some text that you can copy and paste into the white field as well. So you can simply start writing here or copy your text in here. This area is very similar to a Google Doc. You can add text, images, graphs and videos to create your post. So below this, let's add an image. I'm gonna press on the little add block sign here and choose image. Let me upload an image here from my computer. So press the upload sign and choose an image here. If you click here on preview, you can see how this post looks like on your blog. So let's do this. So here's how it looks like on on the blog. You can always switch back and forth between these two views to make updates. When you're done writing, you can create and choose a category. You can select a category here if it makes sense, or you can create a new category such as blogging tips for this post, for example, and add the new category here. Below under featured image, we can add an image that will show up on top of your blog post. So let's set a featured image. I'm gonna upload a file again simply drag and drop it here. You can see it's uploaded now and then we're gonna press set featured image and you can see it here. Now if you're finished and happy with your post you can press publish here on top. Now this will make your post go live on your blog. Up until now it was in draft mode so you could work on it. If we go back into our dashboard and go to all posts here, you can find a list of all your blog posts that are in draft mode and are published already. Let's move on to the media library. Inside the media library, you can find all the photos, videos, PDFs and other files you uploaded to a blog post saved in one place. So it's files you upload directly to a post or you upload here into 
to the media library. When you open a photo like this one, you can see additional information here. You can add a caption to the image, for example, so it's readable for people with a visual impairment, or you can add all text here and the keyword, and this is for Google. Next, we've got pages here on the left. Pages and posts are very similar in WordPress, but they have a slightly different purpose. If the information you want to show on your blog isn't changing a lot, then you use a page instead of a blog post. Now, examples of blog pages are about me pages, contact pages, services and pricing, or legal pages. If we go into our example blog here and we head into privacy policy, for example, you can see an example of a page here. As I've said, the information on these pages doesn't change a ton. They are more general and remain the same throughout the year. Your blog posts, on the other hand, are more up to date. Maybe you share seasonal recipes or personal updates. Then you always want to create a blog post instead of a blog page. Okay, amazing job so far. Next, let's have a look at plugins. WordPress plugins are additional software that enables more functions on your blog. Now, that sounds super complicated, but it's a really cool feature. Just download and install and activate the plugin plugin and then additional functions or features are added to your blog. There's a plugin for everything and the great thing is that most of them are free. I know this is a bit confusing for a beginner so let's make an example. So you could choose a plugin here and install and activate it or if we go into installed plugins you can see an overview of all the plugins that are already installed on your blog. Now you can see that for example I have the tasty recipes plugin installed here. Now this plugin isn't part of WordPress. It was created by a separate programmer, but you can still download and install this onto your WordPress blog. Now, for example, this plugin enables me to create beautiful recipe cards for my blog. So let's, for example, head into a blog post. Let's go into this burger recipe post. You can see that this plugin enables me to create beautiful recipe cards for my blog like this one. All my recipes that include a recipe card like this will create beautiful recipe pins over at Pinterest. And there are literally a million plugins, one for everything you can imagine. Now there are hundreds of thousands of free and paid plugins you can get. If we go back into plugins here and press add new, you can search for plugins here and install and activate them. If you feel overwhelmed with all the plugins, I get it. You really don't need a million plugins and it's easy to get overwhelmed. That's why I've put together a free PDF download, including my favorite plugins you need as a beginner. You can download the free PDF guide including my 15 must-have plugins as a beginner inside my free resource library. Grab the password to the library in the description below. Okay next let's have a look at users. Here you can create different user accounts. Maybe you're starting your blog with your best friend then each of you can create a separate user and a password to log in. Also later in your blogging journey you may want to hire a virtual assistant, a programmer, a developer or other people to help you manage your blog. You can set up user roles here for each person and decide how many rights each of them has to move around and change things on your website. I think this is super handy but many people don't know about this feature but you do now. Okay next let's talk about themes and the appearance of your blog. So head over to themes here. This is where you choose a free theme for your blog or upload a theme you purchase. A theme determines the design of your blog. Now I'm going to show you how to upload a theme in a separate video and how you can customize that to make your blog look really beautiful. So let me know in the comments if you like to know more about that and you want to see that video. For now, I do recommend you start out with one of the free themes. Now, WordPress has tons of free themes you can choose from. You can press add new here and scroll all the free themes that WordPress has to offer. Now to preview a theme, you can simply press on the plus sign here and then you can preview that theme and design and decide if you like it and want to install and use it on your blog. If you want to install it, simply press install here. Now, if you want to go into a lot more details about WordPress or you just feel overwhelmed with all the things I didn't cover so far, check out my course, The WordPress Studio. It includes over 30 plus short 10 minute videos explaining every inch of WordPress. You can get 15% off my course if you're coming here from YouTube. I've linked to my online course in the description below. Okay, we're on to the last point. Now that you understand the basic of WordPress and you created your first blog post, how can you get people over to your amazing new site? I see this all the time. People launch their blog and then expect people to magically show up. Uh-uh. You have
have to actually promote your blog and blog posts and get people over to your little island on the internet. And how are you going to do that? Well, there are many different strategies, but yep, you guessed right, my favorite one, it's Pinterest. In the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a very quick Pinterest 101 traffic class. So I know this is a lot, but so important. So please hang in there. To get people from Pinterest over to your blog, you need to create pin images that you can share on your Pinterest account. Here's an example. Now each pin image includes a URL that leads to your blog. So in your case to one of your blog posts. So when someone sees your pin like here and they're interested in the topic, they can click on the pin and are redirected to your page. So if I click on that pin here, I'm redirected to my blog here and this respective blog post. So how can you share a pin to Pinterest with WordPress? The easiest way to share your pins from Pinterest is with the Pinterest Chrome extension. So just create an easy graphic like this one and download it to your computer. Then head into one of your blog posts and add the pin image here. So I'm going to add an image and press upload and choose the pin I just downloaded. You can see the pin image here. Now I'm going to press update the post and I'm going to view the post here. You can see that this post now starts with our beautiful pin image. Now to share this pin image to Pinterest, you're going to press your Pinterest Chrome extension, which is free. I'll link it in the description box below. So here I'm going to press here and that will source in all the available images from that blog. So I'm going to select this pin image here and I'm going to press next. Now I can choose a board where I want to share this pin to. If you don't have any board, you can create a new board for your pin here. Boards are like folders on your computer where you can organize your pins. So give it a name that makes sense for that blog, for example. So I'm going to create like a burger recipe board. Then I can press create and boom, you're literally done. This pin was now saved to my new board. If I head back to Pinterest and I go into my boards, so into the saved tab, you can see that the first board here on my Pinterest profile is the burger recipe board and if I go inside the board you can see the pin here. Now if someone finds that pin and is interested in this burger recipe they can simply click on the link here and they are redirected to that blog post of yours. This is one of the easiest ways to grow traffic to your WordPress website. Now I've got tons of videos on how to use Pinterest to grow your blog so check out some of the playlists and videos on my YouTube channel. Amazing job for sticking with me through this beginner WordPress tutorial. Tutorial. These were the basics of what WordPress is all about. Now it's your turn to start using WordPress to create the blog of your dreams. Now again, if you want me to go into a lot more details about WordPress or if you just feel overwhelmed with all the things I didn't cover today, check out my course, The WordPress Studio. It includes over 30 plus short 10 minute videos explaining every inch of WordPress. You can get 15% off my course if you're coming here from YouTube. I've linked to my online course and the discount code in the description below. I know you can do it. Now that's it from me for today and don't forget to say hi in the comments and I will talk to you next week. Cheese!